Hi guys! Welcome to our very first online demo. So, um, since quarantine period ngayon and hindi ako makapag-demo sa inyo sa mga baking shop, we're gonna do it online dito sa Facebook and siguro after some time, baka YouTube na din. Okay. Ang products natin for today will be um, Van Houten Professional and Calibo and of course, our Jersey products. Which is our main brand talaga. So, ayan. Our recipe for today will be um, cookie truffles. So, they are cookies with truffles inside. So, kapag biniyak mo sa gitna, nag ooze out yung ating truffles. Okay? So, first of all, um, yung ingredients natin for today, naka-prescale na sila. So, ipopost ko sila kasama nitong video, yung recipe list. At saka yung stores kung saan nyo sila magigilip. Okay? So, yung first na gagawin natin is the truffle na uh, truffle filling niya. So, yung gagamitin natin for this one will be our Calibo 811 and Calibo 823. So, and medyo nag-melt lang yung chocolate dahil sa biyahe. Pero it's still um, usable. So, yun. It's a mixture of our Calibo Dark na 811 and Calibo Milk na 823. Plus cream. So, I'm gonna use all-purpose cream for this. I'm gonna use Jersey all-purpose cream. Okay? So, yung quantity nito nandun na sa um, picture na i-attach ko dito sa ating file. So, the first thing you're gonna do is to heat up your cream. So, meron akong pot dito with butane. So, ito yung mga ginagamit na pang samgyupsal. Kung meron kayo nun sa bahay, it's okay. Dahil ito pang demo ko lang talaga. Pwede naman sa mga stove, pwede rin sa microwave. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna heat up the cream lang hanggang kaya na niyang i-melt lahat ng chocolate mo. Okay? So yeah, you just have to mix. Mix. Kaso. Ayan. Huwag mong hahayaang masunog ha. So ayan. Itong cream natin... Um, it's all-purpose, but you can use other creams like whipping cream, like evap also you can use, or milk. So, pwede din. Pero ang gagamitin ko lang ngayon, since ito yung available, will be our all-purpose cream ng jersey. If you have Vivo, that's also good. But, yun. Okay, and once it has uh, bubbles na, because of the heat, you can pour over your chocolates na. So, I'm gonna put my chocolate inside the bowl. Tapos, you just pour over your cream. And you mix until everything is melted. So, ayan. As you can see, yung init ng ating um, cream, na melt na niya totally yung ating chocolate. I'm using Calibo para mas beljan yung patch ng loob ng ating chocolate. You can also use Van Houten. So, if you don't have Calibo at home, you can use, um, instead of the Calibo 811, you can use Van Houten Professional Intense Dark. Tapos, for the Calibo 823, you can use um, Van Houten Professional Milk Chocolate. Okay? So, we mix mo lang to hanggang everything is melted. And homogeneous na mixture mo. Okay? So, ayan. Kaya, importante na initin yung ating cream. Para ma-melt niya lahat yung chocolate. It's okay din na i-melt mo separately yung chocolate mo but make sure na hindi siya masusunog. Okay? Lalo na ang kalibo kasi since it has cocoa butter instead of, you know, vegetable oil. So, mas madali siya masunog than um, compound chocolates. So, sa mga susunod na video, i-explain ko yung difference silang dalawa. Okay? Para marami tayong maproduce na video. Ayan. So, ang ganache talaga... Um, maraming klase ng ganache eh. Iba-iba yung ratio niya. So, this one is 2 is to 1. So, 2 yung quantity ng chocolate, tapos 1 yung quantity ng cream. So, depende sa application mo. Um, so, dun magdidepende yung kung anong ratio yung nagamitin mo. Okay? So, once melted na lahat yung nasa bowl mo, you can transfer into a square container para mas... Uh, malaking surface area na makakover ng chocolate, mas madali siya mag-freeze. Okay? So, ayan lang. So, once everything is melted na, 
you can transfer na into your square container. If you don't have plastic, it's up to you kung meron kayong um, baking tray na square. Okay lang din yan. Ako, ito lang kasing available ko. May mga parang ito. And you transfer. So, make sure na napin nyo. Simutin. Simutin lahat ng nasa bowl kasi sayang ang chocolate. This one is very expensive. Okay? So, ayan. Pour. Tapos, stop. Para mawala lang yung bubbles. Tapos, you freeze. Freeze mga 30 minutes to 1 hour. Okay? Okay. So, let's move on to our uh, cookie base. So, for the cookie base, we have... Um, the following ingredients. The first one is our Jersey Butter Pan. Next is our brown sugar. Next, white sugar. Plus, we have an egg. Tapos, we have our Van Houten Professional Semi-Sweet Chips. Tapos, this one is a mixture of baking powder, baking soda, and salt. Tapos, this is the all-purpose flour. And this is our cake flour. So, the first thing you have to do when baking, make sure lang na all of your ingredients are at room temperature. Tapos, yung butter mo should be softened. Okay? <clears throat> so, ayan. First natin gagawin is to put our softened jersey butter pan inside our kitchen aid bowl. Kung wala kang kitchen aid bowl, a regular bowl would be, nor uh, would be okay. Tapos, gumamit ka na lang ng either hand mixer or pwede mo naman kamayin na lang. Kung, well, walang kuryente, ganyan. Or wala ka talagang um, mixer. So, ayan. Lagay mo lang sa loob and you put it inside your mixer with the paddle attachment and mix mo lang hanggang maging isa na lang yung mixture mo talaga. Okay? Ang bato. Ayan. So, mix it at low mo lang. Saan lang. After that, you add in your sugar. So, for this one, we have two kinds of sugars. We have brown and white. The brown sugar makes it chewy. Tapos, the white sugar makes it crispy. So, ayan, i-balance out lang natin. By using both. Kung meron, ano sa inyo, um, high sugar na tao sa bahay, tapos kailangan niya mag-adjust ng asukal niya, pwede naman kayo gumamit ng coconut sugar. Okay? Mas pricey lang siya. Tsaka, iba lang yung lasa. But, but it didn't replace. Okay? And you cream it hanggang maging light and fluffy lang siya. So, yeah, adjust ko lang yung aking uh, mixer. So, habang yun ay nag-mix, we're gonna sift in our dry ingredients. So, ang dry ingredients na i-sift natin together are our flours and our um, baking powder, baking soda, and so on. So, make sure isip mo ha. Kasi usually, kung nakasako man itong arena nyo, syempre kapag kinot nyo yung sako, baka may naiwan na hibla ng sinulid or mga plastic na maiwan dun sa flour. So, kaya natin sila sip para mawala yung mga yun, yung mga um, impurities niya. Okay? Saka ayaw naman natin ng buo-buo na arena. Kailangan hiwa-hiwala yan. Okay. So, while this one is mixing, magkikita nyo, ayun na po siya. After mixing for, um, I think, one minute na. So, ayun. Put, let's put it back. And then, we add our egg. Let's mix it again. So, for this cookie, actually, masarap siya lagyan ng vanilla kaso naubusan ako ng vanilla. So, I just put this one inside na sundo. But if you have vanilla, you put. Because if you have vanilla, you put. Because natutunan ko kay Chef Wilbert, kaya tayo nagtatagtag talaga ng flavoring kapag um, nagmix tayo ng kahit anong item is para mawala yung lansa ng egg. So naglalagay tayo ng flavoring kapag may egg yung mixture natin para mawala yung lansa. Okay? So, kayo nang bahala kung gano'ng kadaming vanilla extract yung gusto nyo ilagay. Tapos, let's mix this. And make sure lang na um, sinascrape mo yung sides ng inyong kitchen aid bowl. Kasi hindi lahat naabot ng paddle attachment natin. Okay? So, ayan. Scrape lang. And mix again. Kapag 
kailangan niya ng assistance, itaas mo lang yung bowl. Sa tag light and fluffy na yung inyong mixture, we will add the flour na. Dry ingredients and the chocolate chip na. So, ito hindi na natin papatagalin. Kailangan lang soften siya. And yung sugar ginagawa natin na kinikreen sila together yung mesh mas matagal para meron siyang hangin sa loob para mas matambok yung ating food. Okay? Okay. So after that, ito na po yung ating mixture. Okay, tapos scrape yung sides lang ng ating scraper kasi sayang yan. Kasama yan sa tinimbang mo siya pabinayara. After that, let's add in our dry ingredients. So for the dry ingredients, kakamayin ko na lang siya using the spatula. Hindi na magulit. So, you just fold. If you want na i-mixer pa din siya, it's okay. Pero okay din na. Para hindi maanong maingay. Okay. So, ayan. I-mix mo lang hanggang nag-come together na lahat. Huwag mong i-overmix yung arena. Pero okay din na. Para hindi ba gaano maingay. Okay? So, ayan. I-mix mo lang hanggang nag-come together na lahat. Huwag mong i-overmix yung arena. Kasi kapag may arena na yan, okay, okay. Then, okay? So, kahit na may konting arena pang nakalabas, it's okay. And the last one we're gonna add is our Van Houten Professional Chocolate Chips. So, kung gusto mong mag-add ng nuts, it's okay. You can add walnuts, you can add pecan, you can add peanuts or cashews, pwede. Okay? Whatever you want to add, it's okay. So, kung gusto nyo din lagyan nyo ng butterscotch chips na, pwede. Kung gusto nyo lagyan ng raisins, it's okay also. After that, this is our final mixture. Before uh, baking it, it should chill muna natin siya for about um, for about mga 30 minutes. Okay. So after uh, 30 minutes to 1 hour, so ito ginawa ko siya 1 hour, should be more. So nag-freeze na yung ating chocolate. Um nagtigas na siya then dun sa kanina na sobrang liquid as you can see. And pwede na natin siyang i-chop, i-slice. And we also have our chilled dough. So, chinichin natin yung dough para mas ma-enhance yung flavor niya, mas mag-settle down na flavors. So, the first thing you're gonna have to do after um, getting the cookie dough and the ganache from the um, chiller or freezer is to scoop it out using our ice cream scooper. So, yung gamit ko dito parang medyo large yata siya. So, scoop out um, your cookie dough into portions. Tapos, lagay mo muna siya sa isang parchment paper or sa isang nalagyan. Ayan. So, after scooping out all the portions, i-roll muna natin sila. Actually, iwan natin sila lahat dyan. After scooping it out. Ngayon, i-roll natin itong ating ganache. Cut them into squares. After cutting everything, i-roll mo din to into walls. Para mas madali natin siyang ilalagay mamaya sa leg. Pahamak itong um, plastic natin na gloves kasi dumidikit siya. Pero ito na lang available dahil kakaubusan na yung vinyl gloves or basta yung mga gloves na galing sa drugstore. So, you just have to roll it out lang. Everything. Okay. So, once you have everything na, everything rolled, the truffles and the cookies, you put them together. So, what you're gonna have to do, you get one portion of your cookie dough, just press it in the middle, make sure that it's flat so that you can insert your truffle. And then you put the truffle inside and then you roll again. Okay? Make sure walang nakalabas na chocolate kasi kapag hindi siya gaanong sealed, baka lumabas lang yung truffles mo out of the cookie kapag binibake mo. Okay? Gusto natin kapag inopen natin yung cookie, nandun pa rin yung truffles. Okay? So just put it in your baking sheet and do it with the rest. Okay? So ayan. Pero gawin lang natin siya ha? After that, roll mo, and then if you want to chill more, it's okay. If you want to bake directly, it's okay. This one, I'm gonna bake na directly um, after rolling. 
So, ilibake ko siya at 170 degrees Celsius for about 15 minutes. Kasi medyo malaking size niya. If you're gonna do it for um, 12 minutes, medyo underbake pa. Okay? So, you're gonna know kapag um, lightly golden brown na yung kanyang top. So, after baking, eto na siya. So, makikita nyo, sobrang laki niya. Pero yung pan ko kasi kanina, maliit lang talaga. So, tatlo lang yung nagkasya. So, after baking, eto na siya. And as you can see, there's a chocolate inside. Plus, this one is still hot, pero gusto ko na siyang tikman kasi mukha siyang sarap. Then, you get your milk. This one is Jersey Fresh Milk. And then, you dip it. Kung sobrang mahili kayo sa chocolate, pwede nyo padagdagan yung quantity ng ganache niya inside. Pero kasi nauumay ako sa chocolate na madami. Pero ayan, as you can see, teka lang, agad siya naka-crush. Chocolate yung ilalim niya. Okay? So, bawat kagat nito, hindi lang chocolate chips yung makakagat mo, but pure ganache. Okay. So, yun lang. This one is our truffle cookie or cookie truffles. And you can make it at home na very, very easy. Okay na. Thank you. See you next time. Bye.